A nuclear test, missile launch, even a military provocation may be in the offing as North Korea marks the apex of its calendar, a day which experts have feared would push Pyongyang to demonstrate to its people the power of the North. And this year it's coincided with a historically tense moment as Pyongyang engages in an atomic standoff with the US, Japan and South Korea. Warships from those nations currently ring the North's coasts while its own missiles stand ready on launch pads across the country. The talks still seem distant, with Washington declaring it is ready and willing, quote, to reach out to Pyongyang, but only when the time and conditions are right. RT's Alexei Roshevsky reports now from the frontier of North Korea. Monday, April the 15th, is known as Arirang, or the Day of the Sun in North Korea, when the nation is celebrating its biggest holiday, the birthday of the late leader, the founder of the North Korean Republic, uh, Kim Il-sung. But, uh, of course, the North Koreans will be celebrating in the streets in the ever-present military parades, but the eyes of the world will, of course, be focused not on the celebrations and the festivities in North Korea, but on whether Pyongyang will actually decide to hold missile test launches. Now, the latest reports are suggesting that uh, Pyongyang already has mid-range missiles called Masudan, which would be able to hit a target at more than two and a half a thousand miles. And the reaction of the international community to, to the possible test launch can be very, very serious and uh, could provoke a major conflict in the region. So worries are especially high because there doesn't seem to be any breakthrough in on the diplomatic level in the talks between the parties involved. Uh, on Sunday, Pyongyang again rebuffed the attempts by Seoul to uh, hold talks to uh, resolve the issue of, at the negotiations table, saying that the proposal itself was nothing more than a crafty trick. Uh, the leadership in most of the countries of the region, uh, China, North Korea and South Korea, are new in, in, in South Korea and North Korea. Uh, moreover, the leaders are quite young and with, they have obviously modern views on the world. And uh, it is really unclear why uh, China and South Korea and Japan are not uh, mediating uh, this conflict. But clearly, it is very interesting to see whether uh, North Korea will actually try to hold the, um, this missile test launches. We'll obviously see that uh, during the day. Some reports suggested that North Koreans would want to do that on uh, their late uh, leader Kim Il-sung's birthday, as it's often happening in the countries like North Korea when they want to show something to the world and they do it on a particular date, which is memorable to the whole nation. Uh, it is also interesting to see the uh, transformation of North Korea under the embargo, under the sanctions which the country has been living in for uh, many years already. Not only uh, have they managed to uh, build missiles, to uh, create missiles which could potentially be dangerous for the whole region and even uh, reach the shores, uh, the western shores of the United States, but also uh, there, there, are specu there is speculation and there is information that North Korea may be embarking on a space program. So definitely uh, the, this crazy twist, the crazy saga of uh, Korea Peninsula is continuing. We're watching the situation here in the Far East and we'll update our viewers with all the latest developments as we get them throughout the day.